You should take note that this lesson is not limited to the study of slugs and snails. In fact, it can serve as a model to investigate any type of wildlife. Can everyone see what I have in my hand? Snail. This is a snail. Okay, does everyone see this snail? What is this? This is a slug. A slug is a snail that doesn't have a shell. The word marine means that the animal lives in the ocean or the sea. Okay? Salt water, exactly. Okay? So all sea slugs are marine. Now there's another word up here you may not be familiar with. Benthic. Sea slugs are benthic. What does that mean? No, we're in the ocean now. Now, where do they live in the ocean? On the ground. That's exactly right. Benthic means that they crawl on the bottom of the ocean floor. Sea slugs have cousins that live in your backyards. All right, now land slugs, terrestrial slugs, are not as brightly colored as marine slugs. Can you tell me why that's so? She said they blend in with the environment. That's true. And this is... Oh, you, you, are, you are good, yes. It is called camouflaging. All right. What are the characteristics of the marine slugs? Water. I eat. And then we might draw them in water. What, what are some of the physical characteristics? Light color. They're light, bright color. Okay. okay. What about the terrestrial slugs? Are you going to draw a pink terrestrial slug? No. 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 Black, black, brown, 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 green, green no. Are you going to draw them swimming in the ocean? No. Are you going to draw them on the grass or the tree or the wall? Or the wall. Okay. Yeah, we're going to draw them on the rock. After you finish your catalog, I'm going to go outside and try to find some slugs in the environment around here. Check the website for the full length introduction to this lesson. After being educated about the environments of slugs, the students are now looking for their own. 